Struggling to find the right worksheet in your massive Excel workbook? Scrolling endlessly and still can't locate it? What if you could jump to any sheet with just one click? In this video, I'll show you a simple trick to create a clickable table of contents that lets you instantly navigate between worksheets. No more searching, no more hassle. Let's dive in. Hi, this is Andreas, and in this video, I'll show you how to create hyperlinks to navigate between worksheets within an Excel workbook. As you can see, I have multiple worksheets open in my workbook. Even when I scroll using the horizontal bar at the bottom, I still can't view all my worksheets due to the large number of them. Wouldn't it be great if there was an easier way to navigate between them without searching manually? Well, that's exactly what I'll demonstrate in this tutorial. To make navigation seamless, I've created a table of contents worksheet. Here I'll set up functions that allow quick access to all other worksheets with just a click. Let's get started. First, I'll open the formulas tab and go to the name manager to create a new function. Clicking new, I'll name this function worksheet list or any name that you prefer. This function will return a list of all the worksheet names in the workbook. The formula for this is as follows. This formula extracts the name of the active worksheet in an Excel workbook. Get Workbook 1 is an Excel 4.0 macro function that gives the full reference of the active sheet. And this one finds the position of the closing bracket in the text. I'll provide it in the description so that you can copy and paste it. Also, I have the formula in cell E3 so you can copy and paste it. Once the function is created, I'll use it to generate a list of worksheet names. Since I have around 30 worksheets, I'll use flash field to create a sequence of numbers in my table of contents worksheet. So, click on cell A2 and type 1. Let's type 2 on A3. Alright, let's highlight these cells and use flash field to generate a list of numbers. I believe 35 is enough for our Excel file. I'll make this column smaller. Nice. The next step is to apply the index function, so click on cell B2 and type equal index parenthesis. After that, I'm going to use the formula I created, which is worksheet list. Type a comma, type A2 cell, close brackets. So now when I enter it, it should return table of contents because the name of the first worksheet is TOC. Enter. This formula retrieves worksheet names sequentially. Dragging it down fills the list with all the worksheet names. Now I can get rid of these cells because I have 31 worksheets in total inside my Excel file. Just add those as contingency. Now over here I'm going to create links to each of the respective worksheets. So from this master table of contents worksheet, I can access and navigate to all of my worksheets within this workbook. My goal is to hyperlink these worksheets so I can jump to any sheet instantly. To do this, I'll use the hyperlink function combined with concatenate. Click on cell C2 and start typing. Equal hyperlink. And then I'm going to nest it with a concatenation formula. So type concat. Open bracket double quotes, hashtag, single quotes, double quotes again, comma. Type B2, which is the name of this worksheet, comma, double quotes, single quotes, exclamation mark, A1. The reason I wrote A1 is because hashtag B2 refers to TOC, so it will take me to this TOC worksheet. But where within that worksheet do I want to place my cursor? I selected A1 because whenever I click a worksheet, I want to go to cell A1. On that worksheet, that's where I want my cursor to be. It doesn't really matter. You can select anywhere your cursor to be. A1 is just simple. 
That's why I chose A1. Double quotes and close brackets. If B2 contains a sheet name with spaces or special characters, you must enclose it in single quotes. That's why I put single quotes here and here. The pound ensures the hyperlink points within the workbook. B2 contains the worksheet name. An exclamation mark A1 specifies the cursor will land in cell A1 of the selected sheet. Go to sheet is the clickable text for navigation. Once entered, I'll drag this formula down to apply it to all the worksheets. Now clicking go to sheet will instantly take me to the respective worksheet without searching manually. For example, if I want to navigate to Delta Dynamics, I simply click its go to sheet link and I'm there. The same goes for ETA systems or any other sheet. This method is especially useful if you have dozens or even hundreds of worksheets. So the purpose of this formula is to create a clickable link, a hyperlink, that takes you to cell A1 of the worksheet whose name is written in cell B2. If you want to master Excel, then you might be interested in my Excel courses. From Excel hacks to Power Query to DAX to Power BI and dashboards, I cover all the Excel fields. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.